this book actually it's, is the culmination of really my life journey towards planting the sanctuary. So we didn't intend it for, uh, for this to happen this way, but the book Trailblazers was actually released three weeks after we planted the sanctuary. And so, you know, the whole premise of the book is discovering God's purpose for your life. And it's really themed around this idea of when we become who God's called us to become, we discover what God's called us to do. And in my own journey, that ended up uh, being planting the sanctuary. And so I literally finished the epilogue of this book is me writing a future letter to our church that did not exist <laughs> at the time I wrote it. And now here I am 10 months wow. later uh, with a book that I'm able to not just look back on uh, with God's faithfulness, but also look forward with uh, to God's provision and what he's done. So how would you describe or define what it means to be a trailblazer? Mm, such a great question. For me, I think in a sentence, uh, to be a trailblazer is to be obedient. It's being obedient to who Jesus has called you to be and what he's called you to do. And I, I don't think that you can discover one without the other. I think character leads the way. It's character before competency. We see that in the scriptures all of the time. It's not, in t it's not inherently the biggest, brightest, best people who God uses. It's typically the most faithful. It's those who are most obedient to who he's called them to be, who are willing to risk, right? We, we spell faith at our church as R-I-S-K, who are <laughs> able to step out in faith, to risk, um, and to, to step into who they sense God's calling them to be. And that ends up typically allowing them to do what God's called them to do. Is following God's call necessarily a risky endeavor? Absolutely. <laughs> and it's also the safest place to be. Wow. I don't think there's a more dangerous and yet safe place to be than at the center of God's will. And again, that's, that's uh, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. It's counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive. Absolutely. But how much of the scriptures is counterintuitive, right? Yep. It's a paradox. But the kingdom of God itself is yeah. a paradox, you know? So following Jesus, it's what? It's dying in order to discover life and life to the full. It's the, la or the, the last becoming first, the first becoming last, right? Like we go on and on and on. And so being at the center of God's will is both the safest and most dangerous place to be. And somehow in the kingdom of God, that just makes sense. <laughs> So when you think about a comfortable, so a, a Christianity in which people are comfortable mm. in their in their spiritual lives, sure. how do you see that a Christian can examine his or her life and really recognize maybe areas of comfort that have to be dealt with so that you can really experience what God wants to do? in that person's life that back to that whole yeah. concept of risk, which is a fascinating and, and really, I dare say, as you said, a biblical concept. Yeah. You know, what comes to mind first, Bob is just the story of Jesus and the rich young ruler where the rich young ruler comes to Jesus and he says, how do I inherit eternal life? And he says, well, you know, the commandments and the rich young ruler says, you know, I've, I've kept all the commandments. And he says, well, one thing you lack first, sell all of your possessions and then come and follow me. And it says that the rich young ruler walks away sad. That doesn't say he walked away bad, just says he walked away sad. And hmm. so I think for us, when we're examining our lives and determining um, what, it, what it is that we're being disobedient to, we have to examine, are there things in our lives that we're unwilling to let go of in order to follow Jesus? Are there things in our lives that are not making us inherently bad, but making us sad, not allowing us to live into life and life to the full that Jesus offers to us? And so it's really difficult to follow Jesus without full-on allegiance and obedience to whatever it is that he's called us to do. And that sounds really easy to say. It's much, much harder to live out. 